जय श्री कुशुम हरनाथ पागल हरनाथ पार्ट फोर लेटर 131 थर्टी वन एड्रेस टू वाइफ ऑफ श्रीयुक्त हेमचंद्र घोष रानाघाट अडोरेबल ध्वनि माइन दिस टाइम योर लेटर इज कलर्ड इन डीड इन मेनी ह्यूज यू हैव सेंट अ रिक्वेस्ट दैट आई शुड राइट अ गुड लेटर टू यू बट वेर डू आई गेट द गुड एमंग ऑल थिंग्स गुड You all are my good, living so far away. Where do I get anything good? You are Krishna Das's good mother. You are at Rana Ghat. Shari is my Rai Muti's good mother. She is at Hathras. The one who is near me has no trace of good in her, or else her own offsprings would not call others as mother. Devaki no doubt carried in her womb, but to call as good mother, it is Jashoda. Devaki not being the good mother, immediately he was born. He went away to his good mother. There, he did and showed all that is good. Returning from mother Jashoda, when again he lived with Devaki, then all his actions were terrible. not even one was sweet finally from terrible to more terrible and reaching most terrible it ended at prabhas isn't it he is good before one who is good even when not having the will to be so many terrible things such as slaying of aghasur and trinabart lifting govardhan etc did happen even while he was with mother jashoda yet due to the importance of the place such terrible deeds appeared extremely sweet to everybody's eyes so i say dhani to write good one has to go near good people you all are the treasure of my heart whenever i think of you i am reminded of shrimati's words immersed in the elements of the soul mate shrimati had said Master I am proud in my pride for thee I am beautiful because of thy beauty my condition too has reached that stage that at times despite being a greatly despicable parasite I feel proud is due only to my pride for you all when in merciful nitananda's supremely delightful garden where beautiful flowers like you all have bewitchingly blossomed i stroll then the grandeur of indra's status too doesn't appeal so tell me why should not i be proud that is why i say dhani i pride due only to my pride for you all my prayer now is may you all become more charming each becoming a rare jewel help nitananda in his work of dispelling darkness like the stars encircle the moon you all surround nitananda and augment the splendor of the moon look dhani when krishna lifted govardhan the action of his companions to come forward to help with their palms actually brought forth the sweetness in full measure did it not similarly when you all go to my nitai's aid the sweetness of exactly that nature will flow and nitai will be very happy for that seeing that the parents are carrying heavy loads on their heads when a child lifts up a mere straw tell me in that case how joyous the parents feel despite the heavy burden on their head don't they lift up the child in their arms and kiss so i say if you wish to have such love and affection from nitananda becoming ever pure like lifting of mere straw and showing little light to the world help nitananda 
if in your lifetime you are able to persuade even one single person to take name, it will be aiding Nityananda like lifting of straw. Then Nitai will take you in his arms and kiss and you all will be gratified. Immerse yourself day in and day out in name, seeing that others would pursue your path. If you don't practice it yourself, even if you go weeping from door to door, nobody will take name. You should demonstrate by doing it yourself. Mere appeal will bring no result. Practice dharma before you preach. This adage wouldn't have existed had the Lord been able to do it by the word of mouth. Taking advent to preach love, Sri Gaurango had embraced the emotions of a lover and roamed about weeping. That is why today the entire Gaur Mandal, nay, the whole world is in raptures over his name and love. So I say, you take name sitting in a dark room, you will see it will gradually spread out to all four corners of the world. See, living incognito in the remote Kindubillu village, Jayadev had attracted and is still attracting the attention of the world. That small place of his has now become a place of pilgrimage. Where is poor Nam Prashad? But his glory runs on everybody's lips. Where is Billu Mangal? But today his name has become hallowed. So I say Dhoni, repeat name day in and day out if you want others to take it. Never discard name. Consider it as the safest shelter in happiness or sorrow and remain immersed in it. Do not brood over what may or may not result from taking name. Look Dhoni, all actions in this world are mere play acting. However, do not assume that if you play well in this one play, you will be considered a master player. If you wish to become a master player, in a way it is impossible by just showing good acting. For when there are endless number of plays, then do not believe that you will be able to play equally well in all the plays. One who is at the root of all plays become his own person. By any means, endear yourself to him. Then, without playing even one play, you shall be able to become a master player. Then knowing that Lord pays heed to you, great master players, even Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva too will listen to you, will love you and always help you towards your good. You shall then be endeared of all. You shall not have to do any work and you shall always remain near the Lord. So I say, do not consider this life's play as the first and the last play. Eating and wearing clothes are not the sole deeds of life. We have come to utter Krishna, repeating that we should make our life blessed. As you keep repeating Krishna name, you will come to his notice and you shall be gratified. The root of all happiness lies in repeating Lord's name. Never forget this. Yours, Haro, Joy Sri Kushumharanath.